Hello, the kid said his hi. Stray Cat, the one and only. Coming to you with another episode of New Vegas. Alright, when we left off, I was unsure how to complete this quest and deal with the White Glove Society at the same time. Uh, <laughs> I think I did kind of find a solution. The solution being, they stay the way that they are. The White Glove Society. Well, the way they used to be, and then they'll come back to it. But I will get the rewards out of this, out of leaving them semi-alone, and also killing Heck and Ted Gunderson, uh, mainly for the quest with Walter. So, what I'm going to do is head inside, back inside, once again, back to the Ultralux Casino floor. And... Beg your pardon. Yeah. Could I trouble you to turn over your weapons? Yep. Keep my hold my weapons. Of course for the I slightest am. inconvenience. Oh yeah. You have my assurance that everything will be returned upon your departure. It better. But we simply can't have anyone waving their weapons around in the hotel. It's not the atmosphere we wish to cultivate. Oh, Please. I see. Enjoy your stay. The atmosphere you wish to cultivate. Pleasure speaking to you. Okay. Well, now that we've done that, I Those think. Yep. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. It depends on what you want. Anyway, I'm going to see if I can go to the Gourmand and talk to Marjorie. Because there's a section of this quest that I'm not sure if it's supposed to work one way or the other. And I'm just going to double check. Oh, there's a bathhouse. I didn't realize there was a bathhouse here. Because I don't go to the bathhouse that often, to be perfectly honest. Let's go talk to Marjorie. Welcome to the Ultralux. I do hope it exceeds your every expectation. Well, here's hoping. Ta-ta. Okay. That was not what I was supposed to do. I'm supposed to, at this point, then say I'm helping Ted, uh, Heck Gunderson, rather. So, uh, that's the thing I'll need to do. Every time I see Arcade in that, in that armor, I think it's Kate. <laughs> not Kate, Cass. God damn it. Now I'm mixing up my redheads. Fucking hell. <laughs> Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, heck. You ain't heard anything about my boy, have you? Nope. Ah, uh, skip through that, because I've heard all of that a million times. Let me help you find your son. I'd be more than happy to have you. Heck, I'll hire anybody with a pair of legs and at least one good eye at this point. At least? There'd be a lot of money in it for you if you can get him back to me safe. And if he ain't, you can bet I'll pay for the names of the sons of bitches responsible. Oh, will ya? Hmm. Fair enough. So you say you're a rancher? Yep. Got a whole mess of Brahmins to my name. Bighorners, too. Mm hmm Used to just have the one ranch. But land was easy to grab before the soldiers moved in. Mm hmm Before I knew it, I was running one of the biggest ranching operations east of California. Now, everywhere I go, folks I never even met shake my hand and call me Mr. Gunderson. Don't quite know what to make of that. What business did you have here at the hotel? That's between me and the White Glove Society. But let's just say they control the food supply around here, and I got lots of food to give. But that ain't as welcome as you might think. Hmm. Why is your bodyguard allowed to have a gun? If I'm not... They made me a special arrangement with the hotel. They want to do business with me, they got to play by my rules. Well, a lot of people okay. out there resent success. Might want to take a swipe at me. Resent this success. This makes think twice. Resent success, thinking, though, he says. I'd have had him watching my boy instead. Then none of this would have happened. Maybe. Also, resent success. That's a big fancy title of I fucked over people and they'll probably try to kill me if they get a chance. You jackass. I'll be here. You jackass. Fuck you. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go to Marjorie now. At least this is how my brain remembers how... It's supposed to go. Uh, offer to help Heck. Talk to Marjorie to see if she knows where the uh, guy went. And then I'll get another option of speech through that. Hi there. 
Welcome to the Ultralux. I do hope it exceeds your every expectation. Well, thank you. It's at this point, uh, not entirely sure how it's going to go. I'm looking for someone who went missing here recently. This again? I thought this again? was all settled. I answered every one of that investigator's questions to his satisfaction and gave all the help I could. I know our uh, reputation hasn't always been spotless, but that's all in the past now. How some people can't get over it is beyond me. For the last time, the White Glove Society has never and will never consume human flesh for any reason. It's written in the Charter. I did not ask that question, but now I'm intrigued. It used to eat human flesh. Now, didn't I already tell you that we don't do that sort of thing? We do not engage in cannibalism here under any circumstances. Though we haven't always been the White Glove Society. There was another time, a dark time, when we went by a different name. Oh. But that's all changed now. We've evolved past such base impulses since settling into our new home. Have you now? I've seen to it that those days are behind us. Hmm. If I tell that lie, she's not going to like me. <laughs> so I'm not going to do that. What I am going to say is... Heck, Gunderson said he was here to talk business with you. What kind of business? Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, there's this option. Who did you talk to about the disappearance? There was an investigator who came through here last week. He'd been hired by a young man whose bride-to-be went missing during their stay here. Oh. Uh, well, you can already guess what probably happened, can't you? It seems perfectly likely that she got cold feet and ran off. And that young groom just didn't have a clue, the poor dear. No. Oh. That sucks for him. But I'm investigating someone else, a man, and he just recently went missing. A man? Well, then this... Well, this can't be. Two disappearances in my hotel? What will people say? That you people... I'm going to have a word with my staff about security on the premises. Whether these people are found or not, our guests simply must feel safe in their own rooms. And not like they're part of the four-course meal later. <laughs> Uh, is there any way I can talk to the investigator? Why, yes, I think so. If he hasn't checked out yet, that is. Well, I'll find out. I had our Mater D Mortimer offer him a complimentary room for as long as it took for him to be satisfied. Ah, I see. You see? The White Glove Society remains the very picture of courtesy, even in the face of such impolite accusations. We have nothing to hide here. Oh, yeah? Heck, Gunderson said he was here to talk business with you. What kind of business? I assume with uh, big corners and other things. What else? Mr. Gunderson and I have been discussing his livestock. Mm -hmm. It's put us in a rather delicate position, you see, his coming here. Not that we aren't grateful for his generous offer. But our executive chef, Philippe, has transformed Brahmin steak into a delicacy. He really is a genius. Everyone wants it. Oh, yeah? But a delicacy is just that. Delicate. If everyone can get it, it ceases to be a delicacy. It becomes a perfectly ordinary staple. I see. And if the gourmand serves staples, it would no longer draw the caliber of people it deserves. It would be a diner or... A family restaurant. What's wrong with that? So as much as we'd all love for there to be enough steak for everyone, I'm afraid there are more important things to consider. So your problem is that if you have more stock, then you will thus be able to sell it for less because you have so much of it. And that's a problem for you? Okay, I guess. That, that would impact the profit margins if uh, the supply is fucking through the roof and then the demand is met. But still. Okay, fine. Do what you want. Ta-ta. Also, I noticed out of the corner of my eye here. Hey. Fine dining restaurant. <laughs> this wasn't even spelled properly. I don't know if that's just because they're, uh, <laughs> just because of the wasteland thing and they've forgotten how to spell restaurant, or if that was a fuck up on a, uh, developer part. I'm not sure. 
they, they spelled tournaments right. Relatively right. I'm not entirely sure about tournaments off the top of my head. But it looks right enough. <laughs> okay, well then. <laughs> Rest starts. Okay. Okay, we got to talk to our uh, guy over here, Mortimer, Good because day. he has all the info we need. How right may I now. be of service, sir? Uh, not gonna start off with that one. Said you gave a free room to a private investigator. Marjorie said. Private investigator. Ah, yes, I remember the gentleman. Oh yeah. This was about the missing bride. Such an awful thing. I do hope he finds her whereabouts. Well, that'd be good. If I might pry, have you found something that will help his investigation? No, I just need to speak with him. Of course, of course. Now, ordinarily, we don't give out guest information, but I think given the circumstances, he'll want to speak with you. Mm -hmm. Let's see. He hasn't checked out yet. If you head back to the hotel rooms, his will be one floor directly above you after you exit the lobby. Alrighty. I hope you can put this whole matter to rest at last. Here's hoping. And, uh, considering we already know where the investigator's room is, I don't need to choose that one. I heard your group dines on human flesh. Ah, yes. I've heard that one, too. Mm -hmm. Jealous people say such nasty things. I feel sorry for them. I bet you do. Sorry enough to eat their soul. <laughs> or at least their liver. Anyway, uh, lie. <laughs> Let's lie a little bit. I, too, would is I too know what it is to feel the craving. How can I support your cause? Good. And you know what it is to be discreet in matters of nutrition. <laughs> Perhaps you can help me. Oh wow. I'm okay. in a bind. I've been planning mm -hmm. an exquisite society dinner, but there's a bit of a problem with the main course. Oh, is there? He's got a powerful and temperamental father. Oh. And the main course is a person. Well, I mean, He's the least of your problems right now, cannibal. Okay. Uh, I could do that. But then I uh, couldn't fuck with Ted and Heck Gunderson that way. So, I mean, I could, but it'd be a little... It'd be a little harder. Huh. I wonder... I wonder, should I? No. No, no, no. Now, what I wanted to do was attack him here, talk to Marjorie about it, and then, in the confusion, kill Heck and Ted. But... I'm not entirely sure how that would work out. Hmm. Let's just let's just continue on with this and then we'll decide later if we want to do that course or not. The main course is a person. Yes. The wrong person. Oh yeah. We scouted the right one for weeks. The heir to a mercantile empire. Sort of a black sheep. Oh, yeah? He cut ties with his family and left their estate to wander. He was ideal, corn-fed and well-to-do, but no one to miss him if he were to disappear. Unfortunately, the yeah. trap my subordinate set for him failed, and as he escaped, he saw their faces. Now he's wary. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure he is. Especially considering that he was almost eaten. What did he do? I asked for a last-minute replacement. And they stole the son of the most dangerous Brahmin baron in New Vegas while he stayed at this very hotel. Well, they know he's dangerous. Needless to say, this could be a disaster if things aren't put back the way they should be. And I still need somebody reputable to serve for dinner. You need someone Strictly reputable? Strictly speaking, we're no longer allowed to eat people. But I'm hoping the right person and preparation might sway Marjorie to see things my way. Okay. Um, tell me what I need to do. I need a replacement, and I need the boy taken care of. 
The replacement must be healthy and well-bred. One can't very well make steak from gristle. I see. With so little time, we'll have to go after our original choice, Carlisle St. Clair. He lives in a shack north of here. For freshness, we need him alive. Oh, do you? If you could send him here or knock him out with this and drag him into the dumpster next to his house, we can do the rest. I see. Wouldn't putting St. Carlisle's body... Uh, St. Clair, rather. Not Carlisle. is his first name. Wouldn't putting St. Clair's body into a dumpster give it a terrible taste? Not this one. Empty. I don't believe it's seen use since before the war. Fair and enough. what would the point be, really? Who would pick up his trash if he used it? That's but for all point. purposes, it should keep his body safe and hidden until my cohorts can recover it. Fair enough. What about the boy you kidnapped? Ted Gunderson is his name. It would be simplest if we could convince him this was all an unfortunate misunderstanding. But if he won't listen, we can't very well let him go. He'll have to be slaughtered and served. Then we wouldn't need the replacement. Fair. But you would need to deal with his father, heck. Perhaps if you could smear some of Ted's blood around his father's hotel room, you could frame him. That's true, too. Couldn't he just claim intruders killed, in s killed his son? No. Everyone he meets, he tells the same story. That his son disappeared from the casino, not from his room. He'll look guilty. Ah, I see. That, that would make it difficult to, uh... Do any of that. Oh yeah, this is another thing. You can use one of your companions instead to uh, feed them. I'm not going to do that, obviously. I'm not going to do that. But that is a thing you can do. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to lie and say, I'll do the job you propose. Where do I find Ted Gunderson? Splendid, splendid. The boy is being held in the kitchen beneath the gourmand. Here are some keys that will allow you access to him. The elder Gunderson is staying in our penthouse. I understand he's hired security, so be careful if you go up there. Oh, yeah? And our Mr. St. Clair resides to the north. He rarely strays far from his house, and he surrounded it with booby traps. I see. Fair enough. I will have to keep that in mind. Oh, we get the keys to everything. How about that? Thank you. Indeed. Goodbye. Indeed. Alrighty. So, things are popping in my head, but I don't know if the game will allow me to do them as I think of them. Um, what I want to do... Uh, what do I want to do with the game right now? I'm not entirely sure I can do it. To save Ted Gunderson... Kill Heck, and then keep them from going to cannibalism. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to be able to do all of that. As it stands right now, the only way I can avoid doing that is by just killing Mortimer. But I'm not entirely sure that'll work. However, it does look like Marjorie's there. I never talked to her in the middle of this quest. Maybe if I talk to her now, I can discover a way to fix this. While also giving me an opportunity to fuck over Heck. Ted, it, it's neither here nor there. Ted might actually end up being a nicer baron of these fucking Brahmin and uh, Big Horner ranches. But, uh... I'm not entirely sure... I can fix this at this point. Because I do not actually want them to go back to cannibalism. I don't. But the only way I've seen this quest be able to be done is to let them do that. So, I'm at an impasse right now. I'm going to have to play around with this and see where it goes. Because... <laughs> I'm not entirely sure if this will work. I'll have to do a test run on my own. So, if the test run works, I will then show you. But I have no idea if it's going to work. So... Yeah, 
yeah, we'll just end the episode here for right now. Why not? <laughs> oh boy, this is where the fun begins. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one yellow stray cat playing games and trying to figure out a way to not let the white gloves go back to cannibalism while also fucking over Heck and Ted, because fuck, well, mainly heck for you.